Hey, what's up everybody, Malikath here. This is going to be a quick update video just to let you know what's been going on recently. Uh, some stuff I've got planned, some stuff coming up, uh, how some of the videos may be affected in the next couple of weeks. Um, for those who are interested, the video running in the background is Vermintide 2. Um, I'll be live streaming it and stuff, so you may be able to get uh, some stuff on Twitch. I may cut a few into um, videos for YouTube as well when they get a full group of four together because it's quite a good game for teamwork. Anyway, so the first thing that's been going on recently is NW History, which is a podcast. Asked me on to their show. Um, we had a chat for, I think it's about 40 minutes in the end. Um, you'll find the link down in the, the comments, in the description, sorry. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, it's just mostly reminiscing about NW, how... I got into it, how the 77Y came to be, a lot of the stuff that just went on. Um, just general. He's trying to capture snapshots of the evolution of the community for Mountain Musket, Napoleonic Wars, so on and so forth. Um, it's quite an interesting little series he's got going. So go have a listen if you uh, are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, the next is that finally Elgato have released a patch that appears to have fixed my capture card. It's taken them 18 months, but from a week of testing, they seem to have fixed everything. The latest two Tomb Kings videos were recorded on it. They seem to have gone all right. No one's made any comments yet. Um, if you did spot anything on those and just felt like you didn't mention it for whatever reason, please go mention it so I can try and fix these things. Um, what that means is it gives me a lot more options for editing and for live streams so the big features i really liked about that capture card was it lets me record firstly my microphone audio separate from the game audio so i can redo balances if something's too loud or too quiet which has been a problem with new games especially before i get the balance right and um, it also means i can strip off live stream voiceover and put in a a after big fact voiceover for edited up videos which is usually what you get from a live stream you, don't really want like a four hour chunk of video um, unless it's a story based thing kind of like um, Kingdom Come Deliverance then that works um, it also means that I can have all of the stuff you'd usually expect on a live stream like webcam and subscriber feeds and all that sort of stuff but when it comes to the video for YouTube all of that stuff is gone uh, it's a very nice feature that the capture card software has in that the local recording is separate from the stream recording and all of that stream stuff that usually gets dumped on top isn't there in the local one so if you're not interested in live streams at all and don't want any of that rubbish you will get the you know the clean version on youtube and if you are into live streams you can catch that stuff on my twitch channel so i'm going to be running both again a bit more frequently than i previously have because i actually can support it a bit better uh, what else have I got going on? I am setting up a Discord server. I'm not expecting it to be particularly busy. You know, it, it, I don't have a lot of games that people generally tend to interact with. But what I'm doing is I'm setting it up. There's going to be a channel for each of the series that I'm running. So if you have anything specific to that, you can come in. And it's a bit more discussion-like as opposed to YouTube comments, which are, you know, notice board fire and forget comments pretty much. Um... And I, obviously I can access Discord far easier than uh, like TeamSpeak, for example. You know, I can go on the text channels with my phone or whatever else. So it should make it a bit easier to talk to people. And you're not limited to uh, character limits in Twitter, etc. And it lets you guys talk to each other as well. If you've got some suggestions for what you'd like to see, you know, there's a, a list of the games I'm looking forward to for this year in one of the channels pinned at the top. So you can have a look up there and see what you're likely to get in the coming year and make suggestions for other games you'd like to see. And, you know, try and give me some justification as to why you think it's good if you know a lot about it. Um, just, uh, you know, save me a tiny bit of research from the loads of people making suggestions. Um, I may also use it for the live streams. If nobody else is around for team games, I may invite the viewers in. Um, I'm not sure if I will have the audio recorded onto the stream or whether I'll just have you coming in via my headset so only I can hear it. I haven't quite decided that yet. Feel free to comment on that suggestion which way you'd like it i mean it might be a bit weird to only hear my side of a multi-person conversation but at the same time it means you wouldn't have to deal with potential poor microphone qualities yeah i'll let you guys decide 
Um, so there you can find the link to that down in the comments as well, um, description of the video even. And then, so the what's been affecting my videos recently. So I've had a massive backlog of Kingdom Come Deliverance that's been coming out, which has kept me covered really for the last week. Because um, what's happening is we're having our kitchen ripped out. So I've been helping with that and, you know, picking the stuff for the new kitchen and organizing all the people that can do all of that. That's starting on Monday and for two weeks, the kitchen will be going in. So depending how late those workers stay on site will depend how much recording I can get in without, you know, huge amounts of banging, tile cutting, etc. going on in the background. So hopefully I can still find enough time to keep a daily video out for you guys. Uh, you may find that I end up doing sort of back to back chunks so like four in a block because I've managed to get an evening of quiet. Um, so the response to feedback on a video by video basis in the following videos may go down for the next week or two. Uh, and the only other thing is we're looking at getting a puppy. So I'm going to have a war dog all to myself, which again is going to take up time. Um, so that's more free time gone for the next couple of weeks. Uh, while we look for puppies and then try and pick one. And then uh, when that comes, yeah, um, anyone who's owned a dog will know those first few weeks are going to be both sleepless, painful and messy so yeah i will do my best to keep you guys in content that's basically what i'm saying but please bear with me for at least the next couple of weeks if i can't quite manage to keep up the regular schedule anyway uh hopefully that has given you all the information you need let me know in the comments or in the discord if you have any further questions and i will respond as quickly as i can thank you for listening goodbye for now